Mariana Krim, the COO of Vivo Smart Chain, and I'm so excited to be able to speak to you today. But before I start, I wanted to give you a quick background about myself and how I ended up co-founding this great company. You see, before VSC, I worked for several Silicon Valley companies during their early stages of development, right when the need was clear, but the business was still taking shape, you know? You probably heard about some of them and maybe you even use them every day. Waze, for example, the Israel-based crowdsourced map idea that ended up being acquired by Google and today feeds Google Maps. Spotify, who completely transformed the music industry and made listening something customizable on an individual level. Twitter, the unconventional 24 character communication tool that became the new way people speak up and index conversations in real time, let's be honest. Twitter or X today replaced news media in many countries. Each of these companies had the same thing in common. They were not made to please the authorities. The big tech, although some of them became big tech, or big pockets. They were focused on your majesty, the user, the only person who really matters here. Their models were disruptive, hard to swallow, hard to regulate, and they didn't fit the existing box until they became the box. <laughs> These companies, along with Uber, Amazon, TikTok, or the internet itself, followed a similar cycle. The people working there knew that the product was answering a clear need but the industry at the time was not always ready to understand or embrace them. Users adopted very fast those products, but the industry consistently doubted and held skepticism regarding companies because the changes that they were trying to make within the respective industries were, well, a threat, a threat to status quo, but the only real path to evolution. Now, why am I saying this? I'm saying this because the exact same cycle is happening with Web3 and blockchain technology. It's also happening with AI. I know how it feels to be in an early phase of an industry and if, that still is information and how exciting when the users love your product because finally they're getting their needs met. It's exciting to see today that the same signs that were shown in the previous companies I just mentioned to you are also a reality today for blockchain and Vivo. When being in an early phase of an industry, you may feel some discomfort and uncertainty. You're going to get some resistance. Uh, some people are going to say, things that are not true about your business or your product because they don't understand it. And that's just how evolution really feels like, honestly. This is completely normal. So if anyone here today may feel like that, I want you to know that it's not a bad thing. It's quite the opposite. You're all builders. You know that growth happens when you go outside your comfort zone. I see the great potential that we have here at Vivo Smart Chain, and we want to be outside the traditional limits every single day. <clears throat> We're literally doing this on purpose. We want to push the boundaries of what's possible. I come to work excited every day. I feel blessed because I get to debate ideas freely with Fabio Gaudi, one of the most daring minds I have ever met. Ivan, Hakan, these are people who are constantly pushing boundaries. This is part of their DNA. This is not just our narrative. This is true in each and every one of the co-founders. And this is what brings us together. So I'm super excited to see how things continue to evolve and improve in the years to come. mission 
at Vivo Smart Chain is to create a world where tracking and taking care of your health enables you to earn rewards and help contribute to a healthier life for everyone. We all know that taking care of yourself and being aware of your health are important to live a long and happy, healthy life. The difficulty with this used to be around how much knowledge or information you were able to obtain about your body and the barriers, normally costs, that were required to keep track of all this important information. As technology has advanced over the years, the accessibility, the quality and the amount of information that you're able to get about your health has increased tremendously. Today, we live in this amazing time where we're able to have access to high quality medical information about your body on a day-to-day -day basis. By simply wearing a device, you're able to gain access to tons of information about you, and this knowledge can help you make better decisions. As users of these devices, we understand how important and valuable this data is for us, but what many fail to understand is how valuable this data is to everyone. This is why the companies selling these devices are also selling the data that's tracked by them. The unfortunate part is that many people remain unaware of the fact that their data is being sold and are unable to tap into the value of the data that they're producing and frankly, they should be the ones who own it. This is why Vivo Smart Chain was created. We think the people producing this data should take ownership of it and not only extract the value held within it like the companies do instead of them, but also prevent this from playing against them. Let me give you an example. Do I want the bank who will evaluate my 30-year mortgage loan to know that I have a heart condition? Probably not. They would charge a higher interest rate. So I want to take control of it and make sure that my personal information is never sold with it. Now, traditionally, Doing what VSC does would be very difficult, but utilizing Web3 allows us to create this platform where people can get the best out of each aspect. Our devices allow you to track high quality health information and help keep you aware of your health and your wellness. And since these devices connect to our blockchain, they're able to leverage the security and the anonymity that comes with the NFTs. Our blockchain infrastructure enables people to be rewarded for the data and for the institutions that are interested in this data to purchase. This structure is directly tied in the value of the rewards that users receive in exchange for the data to the interest of the data buyers. So we facilitate people's ability to be rewarded for their data. The blockchain infrastructure is ideal also for tracking and storing the data. This is because data that's in the blockchain can never be altered, removed, duplicated, or faked. So from the perspective of the data buyers themselves, like institutions, researchers, or even AI models, this is super important. Traditional data sets have the vulnerability of allowing third parties to adjust or fake the data as they wish to display the items or the trends that they want. And this is impossible to do uh, due to the nature of the blockchain. This benefits us a lot and ensures that the quality of the data in the blockchain is higher than the traditional models. Now, imagine pharmaceutical companies making investment decisions based on data that's not real. That's not good for anybody. It makes no sense. So, as you can see, the nature of Web3 is crucial to the structure of VSC and it allows us to provide a platform that can address the issues we see in the current industry, enabling us to work towards a vision of creating a world where tracking and taking ownership of your health enables you to own what's really yours, get rewards and help contribute to a healthier life for everyone. That being said, we are still at the very early stages in building up this ideal ecosystem. The benefits I mentioned only scratch the surface of what's possible and we're looking to provide. If you're curious about the future of Vivo Smart Chain and what will be possible, then you're in luck 
because I'm going to go over some key pads that we're planning on taking. While the following pads have not been fully developed or implemented, we're very certain about the direction we'll be taking and we'll take steps in the future to implement this in our core offering. The first item is the continuation of developing and improving upon our wearable technology. Our devices are gonna be absolutely incredible. We'll release new items and improve functionalities. We are talking new bands, we're talking cold wallet embedded, rings, new sensors, and if I continue, I'm gonna completely ruin the surprise, so I'm gonna leave this uh, for later. This is gonna broaden the scope of what health metrics we are able to track and maintain, and it's gonna enable you to continue to make better, more conscious health decisions. The higher quality of the data will continue to boost the value of the blockchain, so the benefits are gonna be compounded. Now, I have spoken a lot about tracking your health and using, uh, acting upon the data to increase the quality of your health and your overall well-being, but this process in general can sometimes be a bit complex, right? If you're a first-time user, for example, or just beginning your journey to health and wellness, you may not yet be aware of how to properly interpret the data or what actions you could ideally be taking to improve your overall health. While learning about your body and what different health metrics mean and what actions can be taken in order to better yourself is an enriching process. It does require some additional time and effort by the user and why should they worry about it? Isn't this what AI is for? So we're taking a serious focus on AI models being added to our platform in the very short future. Now, imagine having your own personal assistant, knowledgeable about your health metrics and measures that can be taken in order to improve your overall health based on everything that's available in the common knowledge of open source, the Oracle. This is what will be possible with our AI. There should be no confusion about what actions cause what outcomes or what health items you should be focusing on. Your personalized AI assistant will be able to analyze your health data every single day and provide you with a thorough interpretation of the items that are being listed. It will help you better understand the significance of the data and it's going to guide you on the actions and habits that you can take to improve your health and wellness, updated with real-time information from research. Maybe you will even be able to talk to your AI and discuss your plans. Maybe we're not even talking about health only, but AI models that come from other verticals outside of the health industry. Who knows? The sky is the limit. A model that works with health data works with any data. And if your information is tokenized NFT, maybe you can carry anywhere beyond VSC, or maybe you can bring any data to VSC as long as it's tokenized. Who knows? There's just so much. The choice should always be yours anyway. So if it's possible, we will aim to build it together. We're very excited to continue shaping the path for a better and healthier future for everyone. And we're honored to have everyone participating and doing their part in making this future a reality. I hope you all enjoy your time. I really appreciate you being here. Thank you.